Okay, we are live. I don't know. Can they hear us? I don't know. I know. You should be able to. They... Luke, say hello. <laughs> okay, there we go. Mark's in the house. The, the doctor's in the house. It's good. Hi, everybody. We're we're live. Actually, we're believe it or not, we're 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 right next to each other. But there's two different laptops. So uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a, this is a little bit more involved of the live stream, but it's okay. Wait, yeah, yeah, it's like discombobulated. Um, uh, so today, so we're at, we're at spring one yeah. live in spring one in person, in person, uh, open sourcing in, uh, in person. Right. And, um, I don't know if there's, I don't know what we can say made more waves than the new spring AI project. If you say so. I feel like that is huge and uh, and it's palpable. You talk to everybody, they're just like, like yeah, it's like on out everyone's of, mind because of Chat GPT. Well, yeah, and and just it's out of left field that we didn't announce it. We you know we didn't really like. No, it was uh, sort of a last minute addition to the keynote presentation that was already being made by Microsoft uh, to focus on this use case. Yeah, and Adib caught hold that I was working on this and. Kind of pushed me to uh, work on formalizing it more, so yeah. that's why it didn't follow sort of a normal path. That's okay. It was it was a, made the surprise even better. It was like a Marvel. They keep their <laughs> they keep their movies under wraps for until the very last minute, and then you know, oh, all wow, right, it's bigger and better than you thought. So, um, yeah. So today, I I, I guess we <sighs> people saw the keynote. It was tantalizing. Uh, hopefully, a lot of people went and saw your your workshop. Right, mm -hmm. that was great. Right, obviously. Despite um, this uh, this AI stuff, it requires internet connections. Is that true? Uh, yes. <laughs> the, well, you can have local models, yeah. but we're we're using models that are hosted. You're you're because you can't exactly host a multi-trillion element. No, model. that would be difficult. Yeah, yeah. but you can host a uh, Meta, and they have a seventy billion model. Uh, so it's okay. uh, it's coming. You've got a machine. If there's ever been a machine that could do it, I think it's yours. I I don't know if people <laughs> that machine. Look at that beast. Look at that thing. Yeah. That thing has been around the block. That is, for reference, that's a human fist right next to it, right? Like, try doing that on your laptop and seeing how much more space the human fist takes up there. Um, so anyway, good stuff. So can we, I, I guess, uh, you want to take the the can lead I here? Share? Yeah, you yeah. should be able to share. Where's your, you're clearly logged in. Just one? <laughs> yeah, and then you can um, present, I think. All right. Okay, and then just kind of give us a walk because I, I don't know what I don't know, right? And I'm kind of hoping you'll take us on a little tour of the world of AI and then spring AI. Sure, and then we'll do a very quick tour, try and get this done in a half hour. It'll be good prep for my talk. Tomorrow. Right, and then I, then he's going to drag me through it. Now remember, I don't know what I'm doing here, so he's going to be my spring Sherpa, uh, my doc, oh, my doctor AI. I don't know, whatever. You're going to be, a, you're going to be the ultimate Clippy. <laughs> like, yeah, which, which is little, uh, which is fun because he used to work on Spring.net. That's right. Yeah. I was in the Spring.net uh, world for a while. Anyway, so let me set the tone right from wait, the context. Wait, so can they see your screen? I don't know. Oh, I have to add this. Okay, sorry, I'm no good at this. I've never. There done you go. This. Sorry. So, uh, yeah, everyone's heard of ChatGPT. I think this is why uh, we're here. And as I probed more into it, I realized that a lot of this is accessible to Java developers, not maybe traditional. Uh, programming language for doing AI, where Python is the king. So there are a lot of use cases, content generation, code generation, search, summarization. And uh, yeah, it's been a long march, you know, uh, to get here, right? I'm sure everything started in the 60s uh, in the upper left corner. And here we are in the 2020s in the lower right corner. So we didn't get here, you know, quickly, but uh, now it does seem to be uh, exploding. Uh, so much so that this is a quote from uh, one of the um, data scientists who hosts a, a podcast I listen to. And uh, used to be to do his job, he would go off, train some uh, models with data, but now uh, he doesn't have to do that. And he actually is uh, sort of doing engineering, software engineering, more than data science. Wow. And the big reason is because of the P in chat, in chat GPT is pre-trained. Uh, and so as a result, becoming more of a developer tool, more almost like a database than uh, something that requires extensive uh, training in data science or machine learning. Right. So the result is, uh, maybe it's more of a statement than a result, is uh, every programming language is going to want to 
uh, interact with uh, these uh, AA models uh, that are pre-trained. And for the spring ecosystem, why it's important is that this is a lot to do with software engineering. It's a lot to do with uh, integration. How do you bring data to the model? How do you run batch jobs that will process that data to let the model know about your data? Uh, how do you string together multiple um, responses uh, to in turn make decisions based on those responses uh, to do something else? So if you think of the classic um, PIP pattern around the coffee shop where hot right. drinks went somewhere and cold drinks went somewhere else, if you always... ask the model, make me a drink and it made a cold drink, your workflow after the cold drink is different than the workflow. Right. Uh, so there's a lot of tools we'll have over time integrating with the rest of the spring portfolio uh, to solve uh, complex use cases. But we'll start from the beginning. Uh, I'll lay some groundwork uh, about some of the terminology that's coming up. And we'll probably go through three of them, but um, not all of them. There's a workshop we just gave yesterday that's available in a link on the homepage. Uh, maybe I should show that briefly so people know where it is. So it's experimental, doesn't even have a release yet. You're living on the edge here with snapshots. Uh, but there is, you know, some decent introductory documentation. And this material here uh, walks through uh, a lot of the features that we have so far. That's a good workshop. That's the one about, about which I was just speaking a minute ago. Yes, that was done in collaboration with, with Microsoft. They were very, very supportive and very, very helpful. So Microsoft, okay, so... First of all, we mentioned this earlier. You're, 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 you've got a history of doing springy things with Microsoft first .NET. Yeah, long time. Yeah, a while <laughs> ago now. Yeah, and then and then your your data science uh, roots have come home to roost uh, with uh, a little the, bit. Yeah, the there's some stuff. old brain cells firing, but the field has changed a lot. Yeah. But yeah, you know, uh, I guess maybe I'm not intimidated by academic papers, so that helps. <laughs> well, I mean, we t we we had you on the show before, but. For people who don't don't know, you, you had a background in physics and yeah, like nuclear physics uh, is all the rage now with right. Oppenheimer. Right, you were, <laughs> and you were the first uh, lead of Spring Data. I mean, you know, this is all very much in your wheelhouse, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, data and messaging were my main focus, uh, and then Spring Cloud Dataflow. Yeah, um, and I uh, worked on a project we'll show here, maybe a little bit mm -hmm. Spring CLI, uh, yeah. but this is a little more captivating for people's imagination. So I have some background, but. You know, really, I, I can't say I'm a data scientist. Uh, so, sort of have one foot in each camp, and I'm sure some people had more training. Uh, right. They'll hear me speak, and maybe I'll do too colloquial uh, <laughs> about terminology uh, that is uh, clearly more formal. You know, sort right. of building on the what is it? Shoulders of standing giants. Shoulders of giants. Standing yeah. on the shoulders of giants. Yeah. 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 That's a good analogy. I love it. Okay. Sorry. So, I don't think we're going to be able to go through entirely this deck Good. and maybe at least the coding part, maybe we can get through the key points and yep. try to make it quick because uh, I know people don't want to spend an hour <laughs> listening. I... So models, I mean, uh, this is what's the AI model. And yeah. um, I'll just quickly jump to the slide on that. You know, it's not just language. Oh, there's a slow internet here. Oh no, my page, internet. Page downs don't work the way you think. <laughs> so, uh, at the top, in this, in this line here, yeah. you know, this is kind of what we're used to now with ChatGPT. Language and code go in, language and code uh, come out. But uh, last summer, a lot of people were interested in mid-journey and stable diffusion, where you asked it, make me a funny picture of a cat that has a punk hairdo. Right. right? So they kind of started, but didn't really capture the public imagination as ChatGPT. So right now, you have different models. They do different things. They generate different outputs. Uh, but the trend that is happening with ChatGPT4 is that it's going to be multi-model. There'll be one model to rule it all. So you could basically input anything and get back anything. So I bet you this year, uh, next year, this time, uh, yeah, you won't have to pick models uh, as much as you do now. You think mid-journey's days are numbered, maybe? No, I don't know. I mean, they're very specialized. It's hard to see. It's all yeah. competition, right? Yeah. And yeah, this is how the uh, vendor... Yet GPT-4 is notoriously bad at some math equations. So, yeah, like, but they, they iterate super quick. It's really True. shocking. Uh, we'll see. You yeah, know, it's only been uh, since last fall that GPT oh, has been around. Not even a mind. year yet, right? Blow so, my mind. Uh, then we'll talk about prompts. So, mm -hmm. prompts is just a formal way of saying input into your know, the model. Uh, 
it really matters how you ask the model for things. It cannot be overemphasized. Uh, so much that the term prompt engineering has come up to kind of make it a discipline, right? So we'll maybe see on the way some examples of that, but that's a key skill. And prompts are generally templated, much like, you know, in the good old days of a view in Spring MVC, where you'd have all the scaffolding around what your view should be, and then you'd stick in the relevant pieces of text uh, from, you know, relevant for the matter at hand. Uh, Output parsing is another area that the Spring AI library helps with. So that's kind of each thing here we help with in the, the Spring AI library and make it easy. Uh, when you get the result back from a model, a language model, it's just a string. Even if you ask for it in JSON, still a string. Uh, so you have to convert that. You have to make it into a structured data so that you can use it in your applications. Uh, no one just works with strings. And then it kind of gets more sophisticated. Uh, a lot of real world applications, you need to call uh, the model multiple times right. sequentially, or maybe not so sequentially, like we we're talking about with the hot and cold drink enterprise integration pattern. You know, you might go three steps down and then have a fork in the road and then go down there. And choosing the fork in the road might even be up to uh, the AI itself. So you start to get this interesting behavior. So just like, sorry, humans break down a problem, Right. You have to break down a problem to solve uh, here. Uh, there's a good slide at the end on that, but I probably can't find it with this slow internet. Then one use case that everyone's interested in is how do you use your own data? So in the keynote, we saw a demo using the catalog of bicycle uh, you know, uh, products. And um, obviously, the AI model doesn't know about that. <coughs> so how do you teach it? about your stuff, mm -hmm. right? So I think that, you know, beyond the hello world examples that we'll show, which are important, the more detailed and more interesting use cases are kind of like Q&A over your reference docs, right? So you could load up all your docs for a spring batch and then talk to it, right? Right. So that's, I think, a primary uh, use case. And last but not least uh, is how do you know the solution you made is working? How do you evaluate that your prompts are good, that your responses are accurate. And there are several techniques that are emerging to evaluate that. So that's kind of like some of the domain. Uh, there's pretty much a one-to-one -one mapping of everything you see here and a package in the, um, in the project. So is this a slide people should take a screenshot of? Yeah, we'll them it's kind of a little more general, but yeah, sure. They know what no and one they moved, moved quickly for. off of that. Yeah. So let's just, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is important to point out that uh, chat GPT likes to chat. <laughs> so if you ask it for JSON and you just say, please give me JSON, it might say, sure, here's some JSON. Right. Literally the text, sure, here's some JSON. Which is not valid JSON. Which is not valid JSON yeah. because it doesn't start with the curly brace. <laughs> so some of the prompts start to uh, almost appear rude from the <laughs> conversational point of view, right? And a lot of them are suffixed with, if you don't know, just say so. Don't make up an answer. It's really, it feels so strange that we're doing so much work to get a machine to act like a machine. It, 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 uh, normally, yeah, this is yeah, the it's the problem. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, in fact, uh, yeah, there are some new features in GPT that help this kind of like mismatch, you might say, between computers. And so they built it for humans, but now we want computers to talk to it. And there's a little bit of a, of a mismatch there. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, let's go to the hello world. Okay. Uh, Maybe first, I don't know how much tokens are very worth. important. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Token, okay. So when you send text into uh, uh, let's say, you know, OpenAI, uh, it gets broken down into tokens. Tokens are how the model works internally. It's, it's internal representation. So you're like, well, what do I care about internal representation? Well, the reason you care about it is your API usage in these hosted models is built on the number of tokens. Number one, that's why. Tokens are important. So what's a token? Normally a token's a word, uh, but often it's not. So chat GPT here is colored in three letters, indicating it's three tokens. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, you know, you have, uh, I don't know, one, one token is about uh, 70, 0.75 of a word, or if you scale it up, you know, all the words of Shakespeare is 90,000 words, or 1.2 million tokens. 900,000 words. 900,000, sorry. 
so yeah, this gets turned into a token. Tokens are represented uh, in embedding. So there's this very large dimensional array right. and that's what it operates on. And this, by the way, this right here, friends, this is why that vector API coming in Java is so important. Matrix multiplication, this kind of stuff. Maybe. If you're implementing something that does it, uh, it's important. Yeah, yeah sure. performance. This yeah. is why you NumPy wanna... and SciPy dominate because they have fast native code. I don't even know they're having that. Yeah. I got to catch up on my JDK. Uh... <laughs> it's a JEP coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. You can preview it, I think, in Java 21. Anyway, neither here nor cool. there. Just so, yeah, the basic thing is, number one, tokens equals money. It's how you're building these models, hosted models. And a lot of the software engineering in the advanced use cases uh, revolves around the fact that tokens uh, are limited in size. Uh, so what that means is if you have more than 4K tokens, uh, anything else you would hand the model, it throws on the floor. So one of the ways to scale has been to uh, increase that number of tokens you can send in a request. So it started off at 4K with GPT-3, now it's 8K, 16K. Anthropics Claude is 100K. Meta released a, uh, for, not released, a research paper where um, it's a million tokens, right? Wow. Uh, you might say, oh, that's great. <laughs> if I want to you know, hand it Shakespeare, I'll just hand it Shakespeare, all the books, but then it costs you money. Uh, yeah, right? a lot. So a lot of it is picking the, the right data ahead of time to hand it so you save money and you make it work less overall. Architecture wow. is what we build given the constraints of resources. Yes, there you go. Good quote. <laughs> so the first thing we help with is the fact that there's a lot of APIs, none of them the same. You know, this is like uh, probably the database days, you know, the, what was it, the record-based databases? <laughs> you know, right. like before there was a standard ODBC or JDBC. Right. It's kind of like that. They all similar, kind of do the same thing, but not really. So one of the first things we offer is to uh, oh, unify we... this space by providing multiple implementations of a common class so that if you first start off with you know, Azure Open AI and you want to switch, the idea is to be portable. So these portable service abstractions from Spring going way, way back, yeah. kind of the same theme here. So wait, when you talk, so which ones are we supporting or will we Really, support? they're kind of like two. Right, but they're the same model in a sense, right? Yeah. There are two different APIs, uh, but um, one is Azure, uh, who clearly is partnered, you know, right. and heavily invested in OpenAI. The other is let's call it Sam Altman's Open API, right? OpenAI, the, the OpenAI that everyone knows through ChatGPT. Yeah. Uh, if anyone from Google is listening or Anthropic, I would love to get access to uh, yeah to those models so I could write. The... We have a question mm -hmm. from the uh, audience here. Okay. We the limit of the parameters only for prompts or for learning in general? Limit of the parameters. I think the token limits are for uh, in general. So the text block you send and importantly, the response have to be below that limit. Oh. So if you're a limit, you know. if you send in, you know, 3,900 3, tokens, you only got 100 left in the response. Oh, dear. Yes. I so I don't know if that, that answers... <clears throat> question i hope it does great question Laurent. all you. right so yeah so that's where this comes in uh i've been following this uh for about a side benefit of covid kind of went deep into this when i got covid in the early earlier this year and it's when all those announcements were made from google and from microsoft and i started experimenting and these two projects here clearly have been in the space for a longer period of time and they have a lot of good uh, ideas and concepts and you know, they're from uh, Python, Langchain, and Llama Index. So I've tried to synthesize their good ideas, you know, take it from a, you know, make a, a good object model around these core concepts, mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah, align it with the way we typically do implementations in Spring. So yeah, these are the components, very similar to what we described earlier. You know, focus around abstractions to call the models, prompts, output processors. And those advanced use cases, which we could maybe cover around loading your own documents, how you split them up, how you store them, uh, and basically the software engineering techniques around implementing something like query over your documentation. So it, there's two lines here of code, but it really needs to be one because there's a starter that creates the uh, client for you. And the starting point is sending text and getting back text. So, right. Uh, this is probably where 
we could uh, you could over take here. over and okay. uh, you could try to uh, turn this into actual usable code, a usable well, project. I'm gonna Sorry. fumble in the dark. Literally, this is my first run through, but I feel like with you, I how far, I, 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 we have ChatGPT. We have and Rod you. here too. Oh yeah, we have Rod, Rod in my T-shirt. This is the old Spring Rod T-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jordan his spirit. He's still alive. <laughs> yes, but he's, he's just not, not here right oh, now. Oh God, no. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, no, we can. Uh, We've got ChatGPT and you guiding us. Yeah. If 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 I, if I can't get to the finish line with that, then it can't. And I'll give a plug for the Spring CLI, which is another yes. project I started. If you install that, you can just type Spring Boot New AI, and you'll have a working project. Oh. But we'll do it with uh, Initializer because that's what everyone's most familiar with. So we'll we don't absorb do two concepts at once. Well, actually, let's do we'll do both. So Spring, I have so people who don't know Spring project. Uh, uh, uh experimental yeah my typing is notoriously slow and flawed are you sharing your screen i think i need to stop i think uh yeah should be i'll stop sharing mine yeah i'm sharing yeah okay good <laughs> um okay so here's the spring cli you can just get the latest release download it put it in your path and use it once it's there you can use, like he like the man just said you can do a make dear uh um as you mock okay Right. So yeah, off. Spring new AI. Spring boot new. Spring boot new. Yep. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that didn't work. Oh well. Okay. That but that gives you a new project and Spring CLI has a lot of great other templates and we've that's a, a topic for a whole other day. Ta da new project, right? Good stuff. Now uh, I'm gonna go back here. RMF. Before I do that, as in off. The palm XML is exactly what you would get from start that spring .io. It's just that. Okay, so I'll go back. Get rid of this. Go back to start that spring .io. <sighs> Azimov or singularity, beautiful mm -hmm. singularity. There we go. And then uh, this is not there on the spring initializer yet. You know why? Because it's a brand new project. Give it a That's minute. Also a snapshot. <laughs> yeah, it's a snapshot. Oh yeah, good point. Let me use three dot one three. No, no. Just to pull the repositories into the definition, right? Oh, I see. And I'll just point it. I'll pull it back to three dot one two and sure. manually bring in the dependency. Clever. Lazy. Go add web. And, uh... Oh yeah. Oh, I should have done that here. Son of a gun. Uh, web and actuator, right? Hmm. Don't need actuator. Sure. Okay. I kind of go hand in hand. Uh, okay, and then we need to go to the Spring CLI project, which has this. Uh, which is also in Spring Projects Experimental. Yeah, I'm right. living there. You're right. I'm living in there. <laughs> it's where you live. Yeah, I updated the readme two hours ago. Like, he's been there. Um, copy and paste this goodness yeah. right here. No. No? no? Uh, sure, yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it scared me. Uh, why is it all... Oh, it's downloading the world. <gasps> Stop! What are you doing? Okay, so 3.12. Command shift I, please. And... You see what's happening down there? Yeah, there's a progress bar of hell. It's downloading everything that's ever been published by anybody on Maven Central on my hotel Wi-Fi. It will finish sometime. Okay, did you see what just happened there, by the way? That was very intelligent pasting. Did you see it? Isn't that cool? That's like... I was wondering what you were going to do there. Magic. Thanks to the folks at IntelliJ. Yeah, sorcery. Like, very clever. We are, like you said earlier, standing on the shoulders of giants. We, we are very lucky. We've got Microsoft helping us with... The, you know the singularity. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, IntelliJ yeah, helping us. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. And by the way, there's another like passive kind of AI interaction that I think a lot of us experience today, which is Copilot and yeah, the things yeah. like that. You know, yeah. IntelliJ just announced their own. Spring CLI also has uh, AI code generation for <sighs> full features, not just wow. sitting in the uh, area of the editor that you're at. It's like a whole project uh, scope. It is a little bit big. That's what got me down the path in the programming. Yeah, of pursuing the AI stuff? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. All right, let's make a controller. Is it done uh, downloading the internet? It's sad. It's, it's not. It's, it's so sad. Although the build looks better. It does, it does look better. Good, okay. All right, make a controller. Singularity. Well, so can I just build a public static void main for now? And we'll just we'll do everything in there. That way it's just uh, a, like a as test. As long as you want a web request. That's all. Do I need a web request? No, you don't. I can just provide a string, right? Sure. So yes, even simpler. Yeah. So do I inject the AI? Yep. Well, you have to auto wire it somehow. 
So what is it called? AI template, AI client. Is there? You're getting the you know the boot starter. So it's AI client. Okay, that's the API. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, it's still downloading this part. Of it, so. Come on, computer, do the thing we talked about. Remember we talked about where you wouldn't suck while I was on the stream? I'm used to doing the sucking. Well, only one of us can yeah, be, be terrible at this. Oh, yeah, it's my, my uncompiled code. Okay. Take three. Come on, this time for all the marbles. Mm. Nope. Wait, 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 wait. There's a reason, I'm sure. Oh, it's the same one. I didn't pick up the new uh, text. Am I missing something obvious? What is it complaining about? Does it still think there's some argument there that's not? No, it's saying it can't start the app. Let's try it. Run. Because the test is failing. But why is the test failing? Is... Oh, this... you need the key. But I've got the key. Uh, you might not have the key. Might not have the key. Wait, I'm not going to. Oh, that was Azure we were using before. I'll oh. give you another key. Wait, Everyone but, has to close their eyes. Wait, but so. There are different keys. Uh, I, do what, I need you, to... what you cut and pasted was the uh, starter for OpenAI, oh, not Azure OpenAI. How I do I use the key. How do I use Azure? Uh, just type uh, Azure before OpenAI. That AI yeah. dash Azure. Okay. Yes, that's all. That's it. Mm -hmm. Also, that's it. That's the first thing people should know. Yes. Yeah. So now we switched. Yeah. <laughs> in some way. That's cool. Although okay. we're never sure it's working here. But gotcha. All right. So, yeah, now you should be good to go. Neat. Sweet red. Sweet nectar. Okay. AI client. It's all about the keys. Yeah. The keys. The plane bots the plane. Oh. So, okay. Already right. I'm excited because that just, it seems yeah. like a. So, starting with Hello World. You just pass it something, and tell me a joke, yeah, and then and then you can print it out. The response is that it's a string, right? Mm -hmm. So it's I'm gonna let this simmer for just a second. We can all absorb that it's just a string, and then I'm gonna move it to var because I hate having types in my response. Okay, there we go. I like it. <sighs> Auto in C sharp. I love that. I'm a big fan. Yeah, well, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so okay, what you what you folks didn't see is that uh, there's a property that's required, right? Application properties, uh, a Spring AI, Spring AI. I guess I, I, if I haven't to, done the right thing. We'll figure that out. But okay, yes. there's a there's a property there that you need. It's in the documentation or yeah. in the code, and you can use. You, if you have questions, take the code base from GitHub. Send it to ChatGPT and then ask it to explain it to you. Because <laughs> no, well, no, this is after two thousand and one. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. Here, if you want, here this is. Uh, oh, Spring AI Azure Open here, API. I, was, uh, well, I can't open up Slack and see. Oh, all right. I can anyway. just. Uh, they'll just trust me. It's, it's it's there. So there's a key that I've specified as an environment variable off script, off screen, off cam, whatever, and that's why this is working because I'm connected to Microsoft Azure's. Open yeah, service. AI yeah. service, okay, and they they do this out of the uh, the goodness of their heart for free, do they? Uh, no, no, of course you not. have to pay them. Imagine, <laughs> imagine, okay, which is why you have to count your tokens and be yeah. good, and not not to send garbage so you don't pay for it. Okay, so this was I feel like I've already done a thing that feels satisfying. I got. Did you see the results? Why did the tomato turn red? Because yeah. I saw the salad dressing. Uh, oh, sweet. Okay. <laughs> It's actually really it's, good. It's, it's a lot of dad jokes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess you'd say. So now what? How do I make this more? This is cool. I guess I could wrap this. Yeah. So let's make the joke resource. Okay. So check that in. Okay. Oh, it's like an actual. Okay. So I've got a file. If you want to make. What's the resource contents? Here. Uh, uh, joke. Prompt. Uh, ST. ST, okay. For a string template. Oh. Uh, the reason it's not double is apparently single brace is the norm in Python land. So if you want to take prompts uh, from prompt hubs or whatever these places are, they're all going to be single quotes. Uh, so that was for sort of some ecosystem compatibility so you could grab quotes. I love it. Uh, uh, prompts off the shelf, so to speak. Hello? I'm using the very convenient Spring Framework uh, 
resource abstraction. Can't figure out where, where it went. It? <laughs> yeah, where did it go? Hey, my friend. Unless uh, Jurgen did something very dramatic, this should still be here. Okay, there we go. So I've got the resource, and this is just going to be a land now. I think I'm ready to accept that. So I've got the resource. Now what? I'm going to turn this into a prompt template. Oh, yeah. wow. So is that, can I share that bean? Or no, it... prompt templates are stateful. Okay, so they're specific to each request. Yes, because you might build up uh, state over time as okay. you pass this around, especially when you're handing it later off into chains and sequences of things. Right, so okay. You might not have all the variables filled until the last moment after previous questions have been answered and previous that's so cool. requests. That's so cool. Okay, so do not put this as a single bean. Yes. Um, okay, well, another question. Let's say it's not a bean, but let's say I'm using it in a concurrent environment for a single client. Is it thread safe? Good question. Uh, I would err on the side of no now. I, I don't know if string template underneath is concurrent okay. supporting. So don't share it, basically. I'd have to look up the, I don't know, is handlebars and all that stuff thread safe? Well, I don't think template like engine. Transactional request, request in, request out, right? I, I don't know the answer. Okay. Template engines are thread safe. So no, for now, just assume no. That's easy enough. Life is good. Um, okay, teach me, Sensei. So now we're going to create the prompt, which is the thing we're going to send instead of the string, because it's kind of a more structured thing. Uh, wow, this is so cool. This is like exactly what you were just talking about in the slide, which is nice. We're straight into the code five you know, minutes later. You no, know, prompt template is going to create a prompt. <gasps> so, yep, dot create map of, and then it's passing oh. values for adjective and. Uh, uh, so this is where you get to do Mad Libs with the audience. Yeah, was, <laughs> give I, me an adjective. Give me a noun. I used to take people's names for each presentation. This is going to be way more fun. Um, and then the topic will be, wait, so the adjective is, no, that's, that's the Like topic. funny. I don't funny. Know. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, cows. <laughs> okay, and then this will create a prompt object, which I will store very, very, very quickly as a var. So that right. doesn't make me sad. And... Uh, now passing the prompt, yeah. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. And now it's not a string, but because you have var, I guess it didn't matter, but the name is bad. Thank they call you. it response. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm sure. 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 Azure, even. I got this. Uh, oh, I didn't do like a good job on debugging it. Remember, each time I'm failing at this, uh, at printing things out, it's costing. Microsoft money. It's costing us money. To, to yeah, not that money. expensive, right? But you yeah. know, if you're going to host millions of users. Oh, what is up. all this then? Yeah, so uh, when you get a response back, it's not just a string. Uh, you might get multiple responses back because you might ask it for, give me five variations on jokes, but we won't wow. get into that. And then you get metadata basically about how it was processed, how many tokens it used, and stuff like that. So, so if you, yeah, you're not going to, yeah, so, uh, okay. I don't know what each of these does. I just well, it's only going to be one here, Chris. But anyway, there's only one there. In fact, there's a helper method called get response. Let okay. me get generation yeah. because uh, it's so common that you, it, it's more common to use get generation. Okay. Then you can say get provider output if you want to see the metadata. Okay, so uh, get provider output. Oh, that's the map. Okay, so. Yeah, then you can see. Yeah. K V system out. Okay. Oop. Sorry. V. Mm -hmm. And then a, a response. Oop. No, Josh. Yeah, you already printed that. But is there a run info? Uh, yeah, that there might be something there for Azure. You could try. Uh, just exciting. Well, uh, well, you know what? You, you code faster than I can think. I'm, I'm a dollar. I'm. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm coding faster than I can think. That's, yeah, okay. that's the problem. Um. Okay. All right. right. Fire away. Please. Oh, I can't believe this is working. <gasps> Look at that. It gave yeah. me an object. It gave me a generation. Text. Why did the cow go on a trip? To go to the museum. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. P U. So there's no, uh, I don't know why there's, oh, wait, you didn't, is it anymore? That's the end of it? Yeah, it looks, well, it's still, no, there, is it still It's working? a web app, so it's a web server. Actually, do I need, does no, your. No, you got the response. Anyway, I don't know why it didn't even print that. Anything there? Does this actually? Do I need the web no. for your life? It brings it in, right? If it needs it, so. No, I don't think that's the issue here. Okay, let's just. Time. 
yeah, there you go. So to, to why did the cow go out of yeah, space? Uh, uh, anyway, there should be uh, run info and provider output. I'm not sure why that's not there. Oh, this is amazing. So provider output and uh, run info. No, you get back a full object. This generation, yeah, yeah. It's empty. Just I don't know. Keys there should be stuff there. That is so cool. Sorry though. about that. All right, let's do this one. Yeah, what's this? So, create a uh, actor film, okay? <gasps> class with okay. these two attributes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Can I use records? Don't know. Try it. YOLO. Now, this is not a re representation of the quality of a given thing if it doesn't support records yet, okay? People, I'm I mean, just gonna does try Jackson it. Jackson support it, yeah. All right, so but, fire away. But but are we using okay? I, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Actors, films. Okay. Oh, I'm using that library. That, right. I wonder if that does. Right. I don't know. O only well, one. want to be. Uh, whatever. Go for the gusto. Yeah. What other fields? Just That's this? it. Neat. Neat. Oh, good stuff. Hot sauce. Do you want to do my talk tomorrow? You better present it. No. Are you kidding? Okay. Um. I want to be in the front of in front of the room. Like. This is so cool. Yeah, so you can. This is the, the important thing: make a, a bean output processor. So the thing Josh is going to do now is that you get back strings, but you want structured data coming back, uh, so you could do something with them, right? Yeah, like that. Yeah. What goes in here? Oh, bean. You have to oh, give the class. Yeah, you don't. I might be using generics wrong, but you have to uh, pass it the class, otherwise it doesn't know. Okay, good, and then. Oh, so you get the response as the generation, is it? Or what do you do? So you get the uh, format string if you want to just show it. Uh, yeah, it's copy and paste these two lines and essentially. Okay, so f uh, from what? The output parser, this one. Okay, so bomb.get format var format string equals and then system out format. And so we can see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is how you ask it for JSON, which as you'll see is uh, highly unintuitive. Okay, and then, and then uh, we're gonna create a, a string here. We're not gonna create a, a template. We'll just do a raw string here and- Okay, var user message mm -hmm. equals, so glad we have more line strings. Yes. <laughs> Finally, uh, filmograph filmography for the actor, actor, period. Yeah, and then format. Mm -hmm. Right, that's it. Good. So then let's, create a, let's make another prompt template. Okay, bar. We probably want to get rid of the calls to the uh, other stuff. Yeah, okay. This is my. So we don't just comment out that for now. Void one error. Ooh. Oh, no, because you nested it. Okay. Yeah, and I need the AI client. Yeah, there. Private list. Mm hmm. Like a unit test. You know what a good engineer would have done? They would have put this in a unit test, but that's not me. Well, we can get to that. <laughs> we have unit tests. Really? For, yeah. Oh, for evaluation to see if it answer made sense. But we'll get there. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So user message. Uh, All right. Now create another prompt template and uh, passing in the user message. Yeah. And then. The, We're gonna, the replacement, so the model, so to speak. Oh, the attribute, okay. Yeah, so map, map of, of uh, format yeah. is what? Is the format string we get from the... Uh, okay, format is the format string. Mean output, yep. And the actor is... I go with Jeff Bridges, but you can pick your favorite. Who is my favorite actor? Otherwise, we go with the all-American Tom Hanks. <laughs> so <laughs> generic. But you, and Jeff Bridges is not bad. Oh, he's great. But is it not my favorite, is he? No, it doesn't have to be your favorite. Okay, I'm right, Tom Hanks. Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Okay. Anyway, uh, now what? Uh, so, um, template. Generation. Yeah, these two lines. Create a prompt. Oh, we get the prompt from the prompt template, right? Create the prompt, like that. Yeah. You can't handle the code. Man. But you have to pass in the, this uh, create message. I think I could clean this up actually now I'm looking at it. But create. inside create here, yeah, 
to uh, prompt template create message. I think uh, there's another way to do it, but let's just go with what we have and uh, you need to close the uh, gap there. Okay, so where did I go? Uh, now, oh, sorry. I'm, I've lost myself. Okay, wait. Prompt template. This is what we need. Prompt template, create message. Oh, okay. I so think I uh, screwed this up here, but just copy it so we don't waste people's time. Oh, there are okay. many, there's like so many combinations of how you can make a prompt. Right. I, I love it. I love this so much. It's very flexible. That's like spring. It's very idiomatic. Yeah. Um, prompt. The, the whole thing with the message is because when you start to have roles. Yeah. And uh, I think maybe, yeah. So when you have the system role and the user role, uh, you create messages per role and then you combine them. Mm -hmm. Generation. Is it the text? Yeah, get yep. the text. Yeah, so it's getting the uh, output, right? And right. now it's, uh, yeah, so it's important to emphasize this is a Java bean, right? Right, actor, so I can do this. It's got actors film, the type. I can get actor in movies. Mm -hmm. Sure. I should have a nice usable two string out of the box if it works. Fingers crossed. Okay, you ready? Is it, is it looking insane? Yeah, that seems like a good translation to the more modern style. I'm using the Neanderthal Your version. <gasps> That's so cool. Well, no, no, no. That's the that's the request. Oh, that's the format. Yeah. So here's how you have to ask for it, right? Your response needs to be in JSON. Don't include explanations. Provide blah blah blah. And here's the JSON schema you need to use. So it figured out the JSON <laughs> schema. That's nice. And yeah, here's the results. Yeah. Last yes. picture. So. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Wow. Idea. And that's, uh, I mean, besides the key, which took a hot minute to figure out, this is yeah, know, so 42 to 54, 12 lines of code. Yeah. Well, right. yeah, you can probably make it shorter. And the whole point of having chains is to encapsulate this even more. So you make these one liners. Right. I don't know if there's anywhere else you want to go. There's, a, I'm sure there's a lot, but I, I just, come on, tell you me. You want to do the, the Wikipedia thing? Can we? Yeah. If you, if you're, if you're not busy, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. To learn. It's pretty easy. Like, this is so, can I put this in another method, like two? Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. Oh, wow, that's so cool. That How am I going to so get cool. you the uh, Wikipedia article? How are you going to send it to you? Uh, just send me, what's the, uh, send There's me. no URL. Oh, okay. oh I guess uh, you can get it from GitHub if I send you the link. So. Okay. Okay, I'll get that in my I phone. don't know. You don't want me to. You put it in it? Slack and I can get it my, yeah, I can probably just not share my screen for a second. That's fine. Any, uh, oh, oh, no. Good stuff. Uh, oh, okay. It's too, it's too big. Um, but I'll, I'll give you the link online. Okay. Wow, this is so cool. Uh, who? Okay, come on. People who, in the in the chat, was that not, are you not amused? Isn't that amazing? Let's see. So, yeah. <laughs> what? So this is where all the sample code is that might be also worthwhile. What? You've got this treasure trove of stuff? Yeah, well, this is all from the workshop. So uh, resources. Yeah. Mm. So you'll have to uh, plop this into a document. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. That's the link. So get a. Let me just go there. R D. R D. Oh. One, one dash two oh two. Yeah. I'm missing an F stuff prompt. Sorry. So what he's showing now is uh, essentially how you get it to answer questions about stuff that it doesn't know. So one of the canonical examples in sort of the community is what happened in the Winter Olympics in 2022. So we'll first send a question asking it about curling in the 2022 right. Olympics, and it won't know the answer and it'll say so, right? Okay. This is, oh yeah, that's it. Okay, so we'll put that source main resources. Okay. And now go here and, okay, next one. So I'm gonna, this is the resource. Here, I will uh, slack this to you. So you have to type it. Okay. And what did you select to me? 
Oh, okay. Um, this is something you have to put into another resource. Let me let me write it first here. R. No, no, I okay. <laughs> Trying to save time because it's kind of long. It's okay. Use the following pieces, pieces of context to answer the question at the end. If you don't know the answer, just say that you don't know. Don't try to make up an answer. Period. Next line. Context. Question. I forgot an e. I'll get it all. Uh, pass this in through. Okay, okay, perfect. There you go. Okay. E mm -hmm. and then huh. and sweat. Yep. And <laughs> my my mom was a stenographer in the 60s. She could do this blindfold and be 100 percent accurate <laughs> and faster too, way faster than me. I just awesome. touch typing, you know. I, I never got that. Okay, so <sighs> helpful answer. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Looks good. Yeah. So I'm going to put that in a resource. So just now, you don't need to if you have it here already. You typed it. Right? <laughs> so just do a prompt template from the string. Okay. New prompt template. And this string has right a here. QA prompt. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Now, uh, kind of want to um, uh, create a map. Yeah. But don't pass it the context. Just pass it this question, which athlete? So create a map uh, that. Um, which, has uh, this uh, question in it. Awesome. That's a great question. So now create the prompt from that map. Okay, so it's a prompt template. I need the prompt template first. You have one. Yeah, pt.create, passing in a map of, uh, and then the map has question. Which is a question, and it has. That's it. Do that for now, because it's not going to know. Okay. So right. then get the response and you know, print it out. You want. So there's the prompt, and I just print out prompt dot. No, you got to call uh, AI client generate. Oh right, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. Generation is fine. Wasn't that there one? just? Oh, there you go. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. You so. can system out that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Could just run that. Fire away. Yeehaw. Oh, this thing very nice. Question. Oh, yeah. Context. Remove the con uh, remove the context. Yeah, perfect. Now run it. So you see it checks, it knows. Right. So it doesn't send it over and it's give like you a garbage. Oh, okay. So I'm sorry, as an AI language, I can't right. run into Now this. check it in there. Well, let me. So I can't. Yeah, it doesn't know. Private answer as a 22, 20. It yeah, even been, worse is, yeah. Scheduled to be held in China yeah, from February. Kind of really lost. <laughs> <laughs> right. At least it's fourth, right? Because yes. you gave it such a good specific yeah, prompt. So put the context back in. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then and context now, is uh, create a resource that's going to get the information from the Wikipedia. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Markdown okay. that I uh, you have to copy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that goes to this. Mm-hmm. Like that? Context is the name of the variable. Yes, correct. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Nectar. Perfect. Did you already get the uh, curling article? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you said I didn't see that. Okay. It's At least I hope it did. Yeah, it looked like it worked. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. Did it answer? Oh, ho, ho, ho. there it is. Oh, that's so cool. So that's who won. <laughs> oh, they should probably stop at this point, I guess. I, it says you. Yeah, we can stop, but... Just you saw it here, people. This is like uh, the beginning of an amazing, amazing adventure. Um, Doctor Pollock, thank you. Thank you. This is phenomenal. Like it's it's everything I wanted. You know, I'm like nice, simple starter just to be able to start bringing in this kind of interactivity to my yeah, yeah. applications today. I like that we can do this. <laughs> <laughs> we can invade your Zoom area. <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody, thanks for hanging out. I hope you got something out of it. Um, it's. It's been good. We we did a thing today. I yeah, don't know, I appreciate you know. it. No, I'm ready okay. to do my talk. I think I'm gonna copy what you did. I'm gonna copy <laughs> what you did. That's that's for sure. Uh, ciao, ciao, everybody. Thanks again. Have fun.